excited to try these markers out. Finally, Sharpie has skin tone markers. So in today's video, I am going to be trying out the special edition Sharpie markers. I was so excited when I found out Sharpie had skin tone markers from somebody in the comments. So this is for you. Thank you so much for letting me know about these markers. As soon as I was informed that Sharpie had skin tone markers, I jumped on Amazon and I found these. Go ahead and open these markers out and test them out and see what we can do with them. I'm so bad at unboxing things, but oh my gosh. So cute. Okay, so we got some pretty light cut. Oh, they're not that light. These two are pretty similar. Why are they so similar? It's like I got a duplicate or something. We'll see how it looks when I'm like testing them out. But this is what we got. This is what we're working with. I'm gonna do a quick color swatch. All right, so these are the 12 colors we get in this pack. I'm seeing some colors that are pretty similar, like this, this, and that. They're very, 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 very similar. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at these two colors because I thought they were similar, but it looks like they're not that similar. This one here has more of a yellow tone. Oh, uh, this one has a pinker undertone, I guess. These two colors look identical. This one looks different, but on paper, let's see if we can even spot a difference. So there's that. It does look a little bit darker, but why do they look the same? These three colors look too similar. Way too similar, especially these two. I'm just gonna see if these colors kind of match. It looks like this one doesn't really match up. Also, it doesn't match. The cap is much lighter than what's on the paper. Wow, wait. This could be a good match. That's a pretty good match. Is that a match? Is that a match? I think that's a good match. It looks like you'll get a good match on some of them, and some of them you won't get a good match. Like, this isn't a good match. The cap is much lighter. Wait, I think the pink color actually matches. So the good thing about alcohol markers is that they blend pretty well. Let's go ahead and try some colors and see how well they blend. There we go. You guys, see? Even though it's just a bullet nib, that honestly blended really, 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 really well. Like, way better than I was expecting, actually. So the next thing I want to do is to try and see if I can make three distinct skin tones using these markers. And I'm gonna use a pre-made um, line art I had. I was gonna print three of these out to test out the skin tones, but it's snowing out. I don't have a printer at home. So um, I will have this available for you guys to color. I'll just link it in the description. So hopefully you guys have something at home. Let's go ahead and try making the lightest skin tone that we can actually get from the set here. Let me see if this will make a good blush. I'm kind of scared because I feel like mm, it could make a good blush. Let's do it. So this is the lightest skin tone that I can make out of this whole pack. I don't think that's honestly that light. It's giving, giving tan or something. But let's go ahead and move on to the medium skin tone. Let's see if we can give her blush using the same pink color and see how that looks on her skin. Okay, it's not bad. All right, watch this magic trick and boop. Look at that. That was so quick. Sometimes I wish coloring was like that. All right, and here is that medium skin tone. Let's see what we can do with the darker skin tone.
All right, let's do this again. Boop. Oh my, I did way more than the hair. I absolutely love her looks. But yeah, this is the range that I can get with the Sharpie Skin Tone Marker Set. So those 12 colors, this is the lightest. I could have probably gone darker. So yeah, and then we got the medium tone there. So let's go ahead and get the rest of my Sharpie markers and create a full illustration just using Sharpie markers. All right, so here is the rest of the Sharpie markers I have. We have the Sharpie brush markers, pretty neat. And of course, we just have <laughs> the regular fine tip. Now that we have actual skin tones, we can actually do a full piece just using Sharpies. I'm gonna try and replicate this skin tone here. I can't remember what markers I used. <laughs> Let's start lighter and then we'll build up on that color. I was really worried about the streaks showing up in the coloring, so I put in so much effort trying to make the skin as even and smooth as possible. So throughout this whole drawing, you'll see me gradually just like erasing some of the streaks, but this was a battle. This was a fight, especially seeing it's like a bullet nib and it's a darker color. Darker colors, like the white shows up, like shows through a lot more, I guess. But yeah, I tried, <laughs> I tried my best, uh, but I think you'll still see some streaks in there, but not as much as it was in the beginning. I am really happy that Sharpie is expanding on their color range and listening to their customers by releasing these 12 color sets. It's great to see a company like responding to their customers' feedback and offering them more color options. My only suggestions would be that they add more lighter colors in the set. I'm not sure if it's more expensive for these like market companies to produce lighter colors or not, but I think it would be really helpful to have a wider range of light, medium, and dark colors to choose from in this um, 12 color set. But yeah, Crayola's Color of the World did such a great job at providing a nice range of skin tone. And I think something similar from Sharpie would have been amazing. But with that being said, I think this 12 set is a great start i'm really glad to see sharpie expanding their color range and i'm sure and i'm sure a lot of artists would find this to be a really helpful tool but yeah if you're a fan of sharpies i would definitely recommend checking out these special edition skin tone markers um hopefully these markers are here to stay but i'm not sure if they're gonna be available indefinitely so if you guys are interested it might be a good idea to grab some while you can i'll make sure to include the links in the description of the video if i can find some and as well as some link to some coloring pages you guys can download and practice with i'm really excited to see what you guys come up with so feel free to share your final piece on my facebook page so yeah i can't wait to see what you guys come up with That was my review of the Sharpie Skin Tone Markers. I really hope you guys found some value in this video. So yeah, this is what the final piece came out like. I'm actually really happy with the hair, especially like up here, the two-toned hair. And of course, we have these two. But yeah, let me know what you think about the video and these um, Sharpie markers. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Bye.